Hello all, Corn Kid here, back with tutorial number three for Dark Souls Remastered, and we're going to be talking in a little more detail about uh, you know, kind of comparing weapons and the equipable items menu screen that we have. <clears throat> so I'm in this hallway and I'm fighting. I'm being shot at with bow and arrow. So I've got a shield. So to put my shield up, I use the soft left hand attack weapon or left weapon attack. Now in the upper left corner, you see the red bar, that's my health. And you see the green bar, that's my stamina. Okay, so common thing in this game is to shield tank a little bit. So like, see, I t if you have a shield that blocks all physical damage, um, you know, this guy can shoot me all day and he's not gonna hurt me one bit. I'm target locked, I'm gonna face him, he's gonna shoot me, and I'm, my shield's gonna block it, and I'm gonna take no damage. And you see, when I get hit though, my uh, stamina bar, the green bar, does go down a little bit. And so that's important, okay? When you block, even if you block 100% damage, your stamina can get you know dinged, and if that gets all the way to zero, you're then stunned, and the enemies can hit you for free, basically, until you've gone through the stun animation. Now, if you see, I've got two weapons equipped and I'm switching between them. I've got my sword and I got my crappy piece of sword. So I'm gonna show you the difference between these two things first. So if I hit him with this, I do two damage. Which is gonna take forever to kill this fucking guy. Now, if I hit him with the sword, I do 40 damage. And this is with my light attack. With a heavy attack, the attack animation is different, and I do... Oh, I need to not hit the wall. 53 damage. It might have been more, but he died. So, how you compare items and decide what to use. Obviously, you would assume a non-broken sword will be stronger than a broken sword. But, to look at things, you can browse and use items. Let me pick that. On the top there, if you move left and right with your D-pad, you can sort of bring up the different categories, which are um, usable items. Uh, these are upgrade items, which you don't have any of yet. Keys that you may have. Um, spells. As this would also be... So this is Sorceries, Miracles, and Pyromancies. This has your weapons. Weapons include shields in this game. And so you see I've got a broadsword, a straight sword hilt, and a tower kite shield. Arrows, if I have any armor uh, and any rings that I might have so comparing weapons so uh, if you see there's the there's some stats there uh, for the broadsword it says 82 000 200 and 3.0 so uh, basically 82 is the physical attack the zero is the uh, sorcery bonus basically the zero is the flame or pyro and the squiggly line next to that that's also zero is lightning and then 200 is the items durability and the 3.0 is the weight for doing the calculation on the um you know rolling and that sort of thing so that this is one way now the other way to do it is to go to the screen where you equip items so we can change equipment and Basically, again, you see the categories. You got five usable items you can equip. It's kind of like your uh, quick keys. Um, these are arrows for crossbows. These are regular arrow or bows. Sorry, arrows for regular bows. Rings, and then armor. You have a slot for head, a slot for chest, a slot for arms or hands, a slot for the legs. And then up here, you got two weapon slots, and so we've got those things equipped. So. If you want to check the stats on these things, you see on the right it shows what your overall character stats are, and you can toggle that by hitting toggle status, and it'll show you your stats. Uh, if you want to check the stats for the weapon, uh, the way to do it uh, through here is to select the weapon by going, you know, highlighting it, hit A. Uh, so basically you're like saying hey i'm going to change this we get to this screen though you want to to toggle display and it shows your stats for the weapon now if you're thinking about changing it you want to compare the weapons um whatever is in that slot 
you know, and so I'll take that off. So whatever's in the slot, whatever you have equipped, there's that circle in the upper left-hand corner. <clears throat> and so when you go to toggle display, if you move down, so this weapon here, so now I've got the straight sword hilt as the highlighted weapon, you're seeing the stats for it. <clears throat> but when you see those red or blue numbers, uh, that tells you what's the comparison compared to the current thing you have equipped in that slot. So I've got the straight sword hilt. I'm see I'm basically comparing it to the bronze sword. So it's got less physical damage. The straight sword hilt does. It ca it only does 20, so that's lower than what I have. Um, the fire magic lightning is is equal. The param bonus. Uh, that's basically, um, you know. Depending upon the weapon, you will get a bonus, which is delineated by, like you see under here, there's the the physical damage is listed as 82, and then there's a column that says plus 7. So that is, based on your character stats, what bonus to damage you get for that type of damage for that weapon. <clears throat> and if you look, if you toggle the status, you'll see uh, that for the R weapon 1, the... So under the broadsword, the attack physical 82 plus 7, that equals the R weapon 1 number, the 89. So you don't have to come back to this if you don't want to. You can just look at your overall stats and see how much damage am I doing uh, with my weapon. And if I change it down to here, it's like, great, 20 damage. So that's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> And so with this one, you'll see blue is usually a better, blue means better and red means worse. So the broadsword compared to the straight sword hilt has higher physical damage, a higher uh, bonus, higher param bonuses, because that's on a A through E plus S scale. So the straight sword hilt gets E and E for strength and dex. <clears throat> um, so those are the, and you can see the little pictures there. Uh, on the pram bonus with the E's next to him tells you, okay, um, you know, for strength, I have an E parameter bonus, and, which is not very good, versus the bronze sword has a C for the pram bonus, and that's why you have a plus seven to your physical damage as opposed to a plus zero with the straight sword hilt. In fact, the only thing better about the straight sword hilt is if you look in the lower right corner, the broadsword has red for the weight. That means the broadsword's heavier than the straight sword hilt. But other than that, as a weapon, the straight the broadsword looks to be better in basically every respect, which it is. <clears throat> it also has a higher param required parameter to use, because again, I was mentioning in the stats, uh, you know, the strength and agility, or sorry, dexterity, those are stats that or numbers that tell you what's your minimum requirement to use that weapon one-handed. <clears throat> and if you're lower than that, you might be able to use it, but you might not uh, effectively. Okay, so that's it for this. So a little bit more on the fighting now. So, oh, I need to actually equip the broadsword, which is the better of the weapons. Okay, so now, again, with the fighting, so... We're going through the level here, and I'm using all this cool stuff, but again, the, the cost of it is I'm too heavy to have the more agile rolling. Okay, so I've got a strong shield, I've got a strong sword, I've got good armor with, with high poise, but I don't move very fast. So now, a little bit more with fighting. So there's other moves that you can do too. So... Your basic sort of move is going to mostly be shield, and I would recommend having your shield up at all times the first time you play and you walk around, because again, you never know when enemies are going to come at you. Um, but the advanced moves are things like the parry, because again, if enemies are attacking you and you time it right, you can actually stun them by parrying them and then doing a repost for extra damage. There's also the kick. So if the enemies in this game can also tank with their shield, and you can try to kick them, to basically get their shield out of the way, like kick and then attack, kind of a thing. So that's a little bit more on the advanced fighting. Uh, now, um, it's also 
Oh, hold on. I don't think I triggered it, did I? Okay, so we're going to end the video here and then, uh, you know, talk a little bit more in the next video about exploration and a little more on fighting. Like the video, subscribe, corn cake.